valve is now deployed. We're at five atmospheres, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. We've got two mil residual pacing off. Okay, Lenny, that's, uh, you've got a new valve now. How are you feeling there? Tavi is a game changer because it replaces a valve without surgery. Without Tavi, our patients will lose their independence and ultimately their life. One of the hardest things, I guess, was not to be able to enjoy family. Uh, to the full extent, I had four grandchildren. We used to play cricket, we used to play kick the football around and go in the park and things like that. I was not able to keep up, getting short of breath. It's a terrible condition. Drowning in fluid is what aortic stenosis causes. The heart's trying to get blood out, but it just can't because of this obstruction. To be able to treat these people and keep them independent in the twilight of their life so that they're not unable to walk around, they're living an independent active life is what um, medicine's all about. It's a procedure that it puts in a whole new heart valve, usually through a patient's artery in the leg, and then advancing that valve all the way up to the heart. And you're talking to them during the procedure. See them immediately afterwards, not stuck on a ventilator with drains, but then able to get up and walk around within two or three days. It was amazing, the life difference that I had. Four days later, I walked out of RPA unaided. Tavi was a dream that was brought into reality by research funding. But, you know, it is only one part of the heart, the aortic valve. With growth in heart disease, we have a long ways to go to really realise its promise in terms of other parts of the heart. The grandkids just treat me like uh, I'm still pop, but I'm the new pop, not the old pop. <laughs> it's part of your day is seeing them smile at the end of the procedure, awake with no complications and everything's going well. Okay, if you can bring the blood pressure down. Leonard, you got a new valve, it works great. We're very happy.